Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Chaoscape. My name is Heiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty Grandmaster. Uh, that is Iron Man for those uninitiated. We are in Jabalath, uh, which, or Jabalath Prime rather, which is a slightly corrupted planet. And uh, if we're going to go into the next mission with only three units and eliminate all seed carriers, then the game will reward us with plus four of uh, these requisitions and requisitions are good because we need those in order to upgrade kind of access to all of Glorious the nice deeds are optional objectives that add risk to a mission but grant requisition rewards on success you must choose whether to accept before beginning the mission okay then we're selecting it Okay, and since Jim is our highest decorated character, we're removing him from the squad for now. Um, and we're taking two damage dealers uh, that also need kind of level up. A healer and two damage dealers should be good enough. Uh, Anders, Zoe and Linus will start the mission um, with uh, their own capabilities. So let's see if we've made the right uh, choice. Let's go, boys. What do we know of this place, Tech Priest? Archival data of these coordinates is indecipherable. However, the report from the Augurium is clear. The blue seeds are below. Our mission is clear. Commander. Your brethren must recover one of these seeds from a living host. I have trained your warriors to focus their senses. If they perform a precision strike in hand-to-hand -hand combat, they should be able to locate and extract any seed present within the foe. Okay, we got a couple of these columns. I now start to understand, so if this here is melee, then these things here might be shot and exploded with ranged attacks. Okay. I see, okay, I see. Good, we're starting to charge in. There must be one here somewhere. Well, that's very unfortunate for us. I am here to serve. Okay, not good, not good at all. Let's start with our interception, okay? That is not good enough. Um. Hmm. At your service. Good, we're moving up. Oh, Emperor's Light is not bad at all. I was very wrong to doubt it. Holy smokes, that was good. All of them are blinded. All of them are blinded. That's really good. Who's to here? Use our nice little holy hand grenade. <laughs> okay, I like what I'm seeing. Me. Target 
Targets acquired. Good. One down. Bomb destroyed, Commander. And how about over here? We're. They shall not pass. We're making sure that they shall not pass. So, uh, we got teleportation uh, strike. One, two. Wait, 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 I'm not done. Three, four. Five. Okay, I see how it is. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. No, 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 no. Come on. One, two, three, four. No. Still getting used to all of this. Set target. Why isn't it executing? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's fine. Now, do it. Precision strike. Fox Walker. Mm, one extra damage. So that means we effectively would have rolled a crit, right? Yeah, I, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Please go on. I, look, I do understand that, but how do we progress this here? How do I execute the strike? Set target. Okay, so teleport and deals four damage. That's exactly what we're doing. Why isn't it working though? Oh, okay, we are ending somewhere else. I see. Now I see. Okay. Good. Now I've understood it. One, two, three, four, and I need to make sure that I'm not clicking on that info uh, info box. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. And with the info box, we can even see what they can do. Uh, Poxwalker, when reduced to zero hit points, explodes over three areas. Ugh. And they do have a death wish. Enraged at low health. Immune to plagued. Okay, now I do understand. 
So do we really want to stand right next to this guy is the question. And sorry for taking that long, it's the first time that I'm going through the motions here. The answer is no, we don't. Uh, we want to do that. And... Fury. That was an absolute monster of a turn. Moving out. Oh, come on. Three. Okay. I. I 12 uh, or 14 range with our weapon was like some, uh, somewhere here. And now we are. Effect, uh, afflicted. That is not cool. Yes, not cool at all. Brother. Pure among impurity. Unleash me. Teleportation to here. Teleportation, so good. Ah! No demon shall avoid its fate. Good, even if we're going to take some damage, we should be fine. Just out of curiosity, like, why can't we hit this? Unclear. This here should be fine though, right? Firing now! You command. We have purified this place. Advancing. So is this here? Um, yields five. Okay, we the medi medical skull would purify, but we can't do that yet. So we got seed carrier over here and there, so and we need to kill both of them in a certain amount of time. Uh, how about charging up? Gotta hate plagued. Your orders? Santo. At once. We're moving up. Your orders? Here. Unfortunately, our ranged uh, damage is a little bit slower. I don't think that the psychic boom will help us. No. We're still taking plague damage, but it's okay. Plague damage reduces over time, and we're almost done with it. Need to get to that plague carrier though. Moving out! There we go, got the plague carrier. This way, I you aren't here. There it is. Commander, harvest the seed from that creature's flesh. Hail. Hey. 
Just healing ourselves really quickly. Still got some, um, two, two more, um, two more points. Press light too far. Um, yeah, we don't. We unfortunately don't have a great overwatch. My blade is yours. I think I will be waiting back here. No we point haste. in rushing in over ambitiously. When ready, what is Just your command. will? Your command. Both are trained and ready. Good. End turn. <laughs> Let them come. Attack! <laughs> the enemy is wounded for the golden throne. Gods, watch over me. They will not see me here. Come at me now. Good, we're seeing more enemies and warp search occurs. More reinforcements. Okay, cool. Extract a seed. Well, we got uh, one more seed uh, that we could extract, so we're all good. Yes, Commander. Trying to uh, not waste anything reload required standing ready your orders with alacrity okay cool Two Let down. What is your will? And this here is jumping over. Face the Emperor's light. Blinding the sky. Because why not? The enemy is wounded. Few reinforcements are coming from the back. That was uh, the warp, uh, the warp's disadvantage. <laughs> Interesting choice. Praise the Emperor. Alright, bring on more crazy cultists. This way, out of sight. Just wait. Yes, another chance, Commander. Ah! 
Uh, a seed carrier must successfully crit them with a precision strike. Uh, Midi crits offer precision uh, damage by default. I am the wrath of Xyphos! Affirmative. Moves to here and hits all of them with a nice landing. Good. I have sanctified my rounds. Let's see how the sanctified rounds uh, work. Nice, good job. And I'll our apathy carry just destroys the enemy. Hitting us down will not do much. Remains a fortress. <laughs> Interesting, okay, cool. Nice, that was the 50% chance for parry. Swords are good. Okay, so this here is the play carrier. Your command. What is your will? Which means this here should be the plague extraction, right? So just double checking. This is the plague carrier. Vengeance! Select the enemy's point with a seed icon to extract the seed. Okay, well that's that here. Yes, we have it. My commendations to that knight. Return with that seed as soon as you can. The threat of the bloom has been contained, but I sense more of Nurgle's minions on the way. I should cover your brothers and my seeds. Could we eliminate that? Hold for extraction three more turns. All right, cool. We will do that. That guy we could take down, but we're almost out of ammunition as well. Yes, Commander. Um, hundred percent blinded perch. 50% to get their mutations off or alternatively we're taking oh what's no uh, melee attack damage no, no we're not taking that fortunately we would hurt our battle brother with that One AP. Hmm. 
Let's just do this here. Wait, before we're doing it, if we were to just shoot, we would get the same result, even a better one if we wanted to. Disruption shot. If we shoot here, disrupt the shot. Firing now. It's one down. No demon shall avoid his fate. Unleash me. Moves to here, and how about destroy this? Blessed ammunition depleted. Overwatch requires ammunition. That's unfortunately not happening. Uh, we're Reloaded. just going to reload. Can't move out of melee. Uh, we're just starting to get these guys down. And let's just try to disrupt him because why not? I'm not 100% sure what disrupt that means exactly. There's another parry. Swords are good. Okay. I see how it is. Since the enemy converging. Just wait. Just wait. Good. Almost another warp a breach. Um. Your command. Zabaz. No, what we're Unleash going to me. do is we don't have enough power to strike. All of these guys, so we're just gonna start it is munching these down one after the other we slay the darkness glory to Xiphos fantastic yes commander Yes, my just happen. What is your will? What is your will? Moving out. <laughs> okay, that was, um, yeah, crazy. Medical servo. Purified him. Perfect timing to use that thing. At your service. And we're reloading. Advancing. 
Moves to here. I will fire when ready. I should have potentially Psy bolted. Loaded. Watch over me. They will not see me here. Okay, they can do whatever they want. Minor wound sustained. I see what. Eat this. <laughs> Enemy down. Ouch. More warp searches. Plague zones. Ugh. Can only imagine that plague zones are Standing not good. Ready. In an instant. Well, hello there. Let me introduce you to my sword. Nail. Wait, what? Why? Hmm. Not good. Good, we're just going to slowly but surely get this guy down. He has a lot of hit points and draws some cover, but well, it's worth it. Okay, we're pinned, which isn't the nicest situation to begin with. Already lost an AP. On the host to here. I will hold them here. They will not see me here. Gods, watch over me. But these guys were out of their range, which is what I hoped would happen. Cool. Beginning teleportation. Nice. Bit closer than expected, but not much. That was good. And every single one of them carried their way. But these are also the very beginning missions. I mean, enemies are not dealing a lot of damage. Cool. We got four additional requisition. You can select as many rewards as you like. Unspent requisition can be used after future missions or at the next Grandmaster's report. Oh, okay, I see. So now we can use the requisition. Knight's Candle, which is Scattershot. Knight's Candle has 17 range. Oh, oh, okay. No, 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 no. Knight's Candle is what we're already using, but now we can upgrade this uh, Scattershot for plus three. That is good. I am using Scattershot very, very frequently. Then we do have Scholar's uh, Diligence, which is our Terminator's Armor, I think. Uh, gets one more armor and more willpower. We're using exactly that. And psych out grenier, uh, grenade tier one. Last attack. In fact, the targets cannot use psychic ability. Sure, yeah, I, that seems like it's a general upgrade, right? Yes, we are satisfied. Thank you. Only in death does duty. Lightly wounded. 
Game has a wounding system. Oh lord. Oh lord. Good. Let's take a look at the ap apothecary. I will go through the skill tree and give you my impressions. Okay, interesting setup uh, for uh, them. So this side here is called Biomancy. We got an option to give another unit the ability to stun with their melee attacks, which is super good, but it costs three uh, um, psychic points. We do have a cheaper version, which is called Warp Speed, giving a unit speed and then uh, more damage on crits for melee attacks. And then down here we do have Endurance, which basically gives them resistances and can cleanse them but really uh, it's more kind of a defensive cleansing down here we have empress judgment uh, which allows to blast an area and remove uh, speed from the enemies um, and up here we do have score uh, scouring which uh, means that enemies start to bleed over a, a larger uh, over a larger area. Uh, here we do have the service horse, which I found super good because um, you can just like grenades. Uh, this here will give you extra charges for the servitors. This here is going to make battlefield medicine much better um, and allows you to also shift over AP um, to the target, which you know. Uh, that will be absolutely fantastic um, and down here uh, there is a bit of a melee weapon upgrade um, if you want to do it unfortunately for whatever reasons we got uh, these passive abilities i don't know if it is random or not um, but that's the absolute wrong directions um, i wouldn't want to essentially take the character there but it is now what it is um, the affliction uh, stuff seems to be fine, but I don't think that uh, mm, affliction is really how I would want to play the character. I like the idea of equipping Terminator armor, uh, because two uh, mm, straight up defense is fantastic. I like the idea of uh, mm, movement reduction, that seems uh, fine, and the cleansing seems fine as well but i'm most drawn to be honest to that right hand side specifically the servitors because if you get an extra servitor uh, uh, equipment slot and then all of the servitors have three ammunition then you don't need to waste any of your uh, psychic powers in order to heal uh, which means it's really between either of these so the one thing that I like about healing is that extra AP, which you find up here. Activate uh, warp uh, charge. Uh, activate to give a target heal and one AP. But it costs you two uh, willpower as well. So I mean one, one way of building the character I suppose is getting up here and here and then going into the servitors um, and once the servitors are uh, fully skilled so to speak we can use battle medicine upgrade and that kind of enough of healing I guess um, and from there we could um, either go for that melee upgrade or for uh, for more Emperor's Judgment. I definitely want Terminator Armor, that kind of goes without saying for me. And we want uh, Scourging to get to the Servitors. So that's what we're going to do now. And then we're going to go into the Skulls next. Unfortunately, two of our characters have been taken out. So that's not very you good. Serve the Emperor well. Commander, we should study this seed at once. Um, well, I don't know how we're studying the seed. Oh, here. No, 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 no. We're not losing the days that we already have. Oh, that's not happening.
Can't reach that. It's a bit frustrating. I wanted to get another another mission going. What's the optimal position uh, to be? I don't know if there is even one. But this here is, doesn't seem to be too bad because you have one, two, three, four, five directly, but you need to travel quite far. On the other hand, the only way of getting multiple missions is to be essentially almost right next uh, to uh, to the one when they uh, when they spawn. Ship project uh, been completed, which I think what I want to do next is this year, and we need more servitors soon as well. Yeah, you can see the corruption now. Spread. Warning. A large scale anomaly approaches our coordinates. Analysis. Processing. Intermittent heat sources identified without active signal patterns. Current theory suggests a space hulk. If so, there is a high probability of valuable archaeotech on board. A fascinating possibility. There could be weapons, something we might use. While I appreciate the academic interest. This risks being a significant distraction from our mission. I would advise we destroy the object from a safe distance and be done with it. Nah. Excellent. Let us see what your brothers can find. Oh, okay. Well, I'll do the... <laughs> The barracks look really, really bad. Okay. Wounded, 40, uh, 45 days. Oh, I can't even select the class. Uh, no, thank you. What did we, what did we get? I think it was a bit of a bonus. A bit of a bonus and that's about it. Uh, did we, did we have a map bay? I think we did, right? Augment chamber. Uh, that will give us servitors. Medication chamber. Alright, let's advance some time. Doesn't look too promising at the moment. Good, the Arturium is uh, repaired. And we're lacking servitors for almost everything that's not good so I need the augmentation chamber next 
because we currently can't do anything we need without servitors we yeah we can't do anything can we purchase servitors the answer is potentially no Okay, primarily as a core mission reward. Good, well... We have restored functionality to the Augurium and should review our prognostic acquire. When prognosticers are attuned to a system, they will extend the mission timer in all adjacent systems. In all adjacent systems, okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Well, a tune head over here. Uh, that is just strategically the most beneficial way of using it. Good. Research project uh, unlocked. We get now got stratagems, which we can use a little bit later, but first we're starting with researching the pox. Stratagems. Target a knight who gets plus two AP. Okay, how do you use stratagems? Okay, no idea yet, but we're going to find out. I need a mission to get uh, new servitors. I think we can do this and then this and we get servicer, uh, servitors as a reward win the mission without using willpower okay and eliminate all seat carriers cool well we can try to do that Good. The biggest problem that we do have is our barracks. Well, it's not that bad of a problem, Saika. It's actually quite okay. We got a few lightly wounded characters and uh, lots of not so wounded characters. Enders, Linus, Zoe are all available. And then we got another Justicar, just like Jim, um, who could help us out here. So I think we got a team of four, perfectly capable of um, doing that. Modifies the rate which the knights recover from wounds can be increased through the upgrades in the Manifactorium. Okay, cool. Uh, by the way, we do have three servitors, which means now we're definitely starting this here. Okay, we're back on track. We are back on track, baby. <clears throat> Definitely need to recruit a few uh, further knights as well. Uh, Kadus Kern is a level 1 interceptor. We don't have uh, more than one at the moment, so might as well do that. And another Justicar. Do we need really another Justicar? Uh, we got... Justy, Justy, Interceptor, Interceptor, 
Pugy, Pugy. I would like another Apothecary. Okay, we're... Hold your horses for now. I think we're fine. Might be able to recruit someone else later down the line. Kim. And Kern here hasn't received any abilities so far. Which I am wondering if you get completely fresh recruits, that means they don't have the starting Kim. abilities. Okay, that's not too bad. I mean, I still want to go into the teleportation, sort of. But I generally like the idea of a melee-focused character as well. It just doesn't have teleportation. Although, I must admit the teleportation strike is plenty good. Like, that's some sick AoE damage. The other option is going up here and then having teleportation plus the weapon. I don't think that that is really a good idea. Another option is additional armor and war gear slot. And from there, yeah, the support fire discipline, I don't like that either, but cleansing strike uh, seems fun. So that would be the pure damage and a little bit survivability route without teleportation, right? Then we do have the option here for crit strike and just generally melee damage. I think that the teleportation was really good. Having that as a core is rock solid. This isn't bad either because normal melee attacks then will become really really powerful. Let me try uh, to find out what those normal melee attacks do and we're seeing whether or not that uh, is going to be any good but yeah rest is going to happen the next time for now we're leaving the universe of warhammer 40k chaos uh, gate appreciate uh, your viewership if you want to do me a solid favor um, click that like button for the emperor and let me know if you uh, like uh, the game so far take care and have a good one bye bye